699. That's not bad. What do we got here? Boom, a wooden display case. That's pretty good. Prices at Goodwill are crazy lately. And $7 for this case, I couldn't even get the wood for $7. So it has a hinge display, it swings out, it has two little drawers. It looks like the person before me tried to repaint it, didn't quite finish. We're gonna give it a solid paint job and make this thing look sweet. Actually, this is what it's gonna look like, spoiler alert, boom. So I'm gonna do a two-tone, it's gonna have white on the inside here, and then we'll tape it off and I'll paint the outside blue. And I think I'm gonna do these little pull drawers with a blue front to just kind of use that contrast to make it worth it. This whole thing is gonna be set up as a display. That's how we're gonna use it, so I wanna think about that going into the painting because we don't need to do a ton of perfection painting work because it's not going to be getting bumped around and moved around that much. It's basically just going to sit on a shelf and be used as a shelf on a shelf. So the first thing is going to be to cover this entire thing with a base white and I'm using a flat white and then we'll go back and tape it off and then do the accent colors. What I found with these kind of projects is the paint costs usually are what pushes these way over budget. And if you're not gonna do more projects like these, it doesn't really pay off because you spend $20 on paint and now your thing costs about as much as it would have if you would have just bought it the whole thing in the store. So if you're planning on doing this, Think about doing more of them. In this case, that's why I'm using these two colors. I was working on another project. This project actually turned out great, but I'm gonna use this blue now as the accent color. One of the reasons I like using spray paint is because you can put on really light coats and it dries relatively fast. This is like a two day project just because of the amount of paint I'm putting on. I wanna make sure those base coats really dry. After everything's dry, I'm gonna tape everything off and then we're gonna paint the outside edge. Use this plastic bag here to cover it and then we'll just tape the front and that'll be the blue on the top. I'm no pro at painting this, but you can see I'm trying to do even strokes. I'm not trying to put it on too light because I want to get it finished, but I don't want to put it on too heavy because I want it to dry. So it's just that thing of trial and error. And these are great projects to practice on, honestly, because if you mess up, oh well, it's a $7 box. Just give it another paint job some other time and you'll be fine. Covering this entire thing with white really pays off for the light colors because it really lets those colors pop when you spray on your accent colors. And you can see here, if I would have painted this all in blue, I would need two or three coats. I usually use just cheap white primer for white when I paint these kind of projects and it's the cheapest paint. And so that's another reason to paint as much as you can and cover it so it's even because in most cases, you won't need to use as much of your expensive colored paint. Now I like using spray paint. You can use roll-on paint or whatever you have available. I don't know if I'd use acrylic paint but hey give it a try see how it turns out all right so the paint is dry let's take off this tape and see what it looks like the big reveal and like I said earlier things to think about when you're doing these kind of projects is how the end result is going to be used in this case this is going to be a display case for some little products the products are going to take up most of the space inside and that was one of the reasons I didn't spend tons of time trying to make the inside section super perfect because they're gonna be covered with stuff. You're not really gonna see it. But there it is, check it out, look at that. That looks clean. And when you look at what it looked like before, this is about $5 worth of paint that I added to it. Not bad, we'll do a little touch up work here because I don't want it to look super generic. And I'm just spraying some paint into a little pan and then just doing some actual physical touch up work and it, it's fine, it's fine. You definitely could spend a lot more time on this if you wanted. The big thing with doing these kind of projects is trying to be cost effective. That's my opinion at least. If you're gonna save money buying the thing at the thrift store, it makes sense not to spend $100 on paint. At the same time, if you're gonna spend the time painting it, you wanna make sure at least it's worth the, your time doing it. So it's that balance of knowing how much time to invest and how much money to spend on paint. Min Tea. Covering everything in white base coat for the lighter blue really helped because I only had to put on, I don't even know if I used a full can of the blue, which is great, so I can use that blue for another one, but look at that. And the doors hinge out. Now the wood's a little weird here on top, but I'm not too worried about that. I think that'll add to the aesthetic. At least that's what I'm gonna say. There's the before. And there's the after. Let's put some products on this and see how it looks. So I took it over to my sister's shop. It, we found a place for it. My nephew has some little handmade things that he made that we're gonna set up there just to see. So there it is loaded up with all of the stuff. This is stuff my nephew made actually. I have a link in the description if you're interested in getting any of these paracord designs. These are really cool. He made these little Ninja Turtles and stuff and he does these handmade paper craft and stuff like that. But look, that looks great. Blends in, it looks like it's all part of it. And if she didn't like it there, she can fold it up and move it around, move it somewhere else, or just give it back to me, I don't know. <laughs>
Check the basement of this video to see any links to this stuff if you're interested in some of this paracord custom made art. And if you want to see more stuff like this, be sure to subscribe. I got all kinds of upcoming projects that I want to share with you, including the other project I use this same color paint on. I'm also over on TikTok if you want to see more fun thrift finds and things and short content. Thanks for watching Thrifty Mint.